Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Windows 10 Start button is not working. So if you attempt to open up your Start menu and it's not opening up, or even if you try right-clicking on your Start button and it's not responding, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to jump right into it, and we're going to start by right-clicking on our taskbar down here. If you're not sure what your taskbar is, it's basically that long rectangular bar along either your bottom, right, left, or top of your screen. Most people should be at the bottom of your screen. And you want to right click on it, and then left click on Task Manager. Left click on More Details if your view looked like that. And now you want to go up to the top and left click on the File tab, and then left click on Run New Task. Where it says Open in this field, you want to type in CMD, so the letter CMD. And you want to check mark inside where it says Create this task with Administrator Privileges. Click on OK. Now that we've done that, we can close out of Task Manager. And now we want to type into the command line window whatever our main drive is on our computer. So most people, wherever Windows is installed on, it's going to likely be one of your main drive letters like C or D. If you're unsure, I'd recommend opening up File Explorer. And most people should have a File Explorer icon on your desktop. Or you could always go back in the Task Manager and run Explorer. So you know what, we're going to do that just in case you don't have the shortcut down here. So if you right click on the taskbar again and left click on Task Manager, went back up to File, Run New Task, and this time we typed in Explorer, and then we clicked on OK or hit Enter, and then on the left side here we went to this PC. It should tell us what disks are installed on our device. Whichever one has a hard drive with the Windows logo right above it, that's the drive that we want to take note of, the letter. And we see in parentheses it says C drive, so C colon. That's going to be important in a couple seconds here, so just keep that in mind. So I'm going to close out of here. So now into the elevated command line window, I'm going to type in CHK, DSK, space, and now we're going to insert our drive letter. So like I showed you guys, in my case it's the C drive in which Windows is installed on. And now I'm going to do a colon, which is basically just one dot on top of the other, so two dots. It's not the dot with the comma underneath, it's just the two straight square dots. Then you want to do another space, and then you want to do a forward slash F. So again, CHK, DSK, space. Now I'm going to put my drive letter with the colon, which in my case it's C colon. No space in between these two. And then a space in between the colon and the forward slash, and then F comes immediately after the forward slash. There is no space in between those. Then you want to hit enter. Because our system is currently in use and we're currently using the Windows operating system, we can't really run the scan at the moment, so we're going to have to restart our computer. So in order to do that, we have to type the Y key into the elevated command line window to initiate and schedule this volume to be scanned. And then you want to hit enter. It should say the volume will be checked the next time your system restarts. So I, at this point I'd recommend closing out of any windows you have on your computer that may still be open. And then I recommend restarting your device and then hopefully that should resolve the problem. If that does not resolve the issue, we're going to go on to like a method 2 that I wanted to briefly go into this video. That if the first one didn't work for you, this should hopefully work for you. So this will involve after you've restarted your computer, going back to the taskbar down here and right clicking on it. And then left clicking on task manager again. Again, if your view looks like this, you want to click on the More Details button down here, and then you have access to the File tab, which you want to left-click on, and then left-click on Run New Task. Again, we're going to type in CMD. Create this task with administrative privileges. Make sure that is checkmarked in here. Click on OK. Now we want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now. So again, SFC space forward slash scan, so S-C-A-N, now, N-O-W. There's two N's in here, so don't just think that the one N goes for both scan and now. There's two N's in here, okay? Just want to make that very clear. And once you have it exactly how it appears on my screen, you want to hit enter on your keyboard. This will begin a system scan. It will take some time. 
and I would recommend letting the system restart once it is finished. So it definitely will take some time, be patient, and I do hope that if the first method did not work for you, unfortunately, I hopefully this one will. So as always, thank you guys for watching this video, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.